Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, the Bitcoin price is getting ready for its next major move. In just a moment, I'll be getting into all of my next Bitcoin price targets, my Bitcoin strategy, and also something else that's interesting that's forming in the RSI and the MACD. And towards the end of this video, I'll give you guys a quick update over on the Bitcoin order books, the Bitcoin funding rates, and the Bitcoin fear and greed index. So definitely make sure you're watching this video all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this valuable information. And just before we jump into it, Make sure to drop a like on this video down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this one. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. It's right here we're on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the four hour time frame. And as you can see here, obviously we had that major move to the upside about two days ago now, right into the exact price target of around 48,000 US dollars. And since then, we've clearly entered a short term consolidation range. And what's very interesting about this exact area that we've come into contact with if you're zooming out on the Bitcoin chart here and bringing out the Fibonacci retracement tool from this high at around 53,000 US dollars down to this low at around 39,500 US dollars, what you can see here is the golden pocket, the most important Fibonacci level on the chart is coming in right where we're actually finding resistance at around 48,000 US dollars approximately. So this is nothing new for the subscribers out there. I've been going over this exact level for quite a while. So the resistance that we've been finding at these levels just here was actually expected day before it happened. And in my last Bitcoin update video that I posted yesterday on the channel, I went into a scenario on the charts back here during July, where we did actually break above the golden pocket. And I basically explained what happened next. So for the brand's new viewers on the channel that missed my Bitcoin video yesterday, definitely check that one out after you finished watching this video. But basically, of course, if we break above the golden pocket, that's clearly a bullish sign. And that's setting us up for some major price targets to the upside. Probably the biggest initial price target to the upside is actually this 78.6 percent Fibonacci level, which is coming in at around 50,000 US dollars. And also 50,000 US dollars is just a psychological level of resistance, meaning that a lot of people are placing sell orders and things like that around 50,000 US dollars, just because of the fact that it's a big round number. And anything above 50,000 US dollars, I mentioned more price targets to the upside in my last video, but I'm not going to repeat them every single video so that the subscribers don't hear the same thing over and over and over. But yeah, getting into the brand's new information that I didn't actually cover yesterday is because since yesterday, there has actually been a very small downtrend form in the RSI and also in the MACD. We're only just now seeing a bearish cross on the four hour chart. When you're zooming into a smaller time frame, such as this two hour chart, for example, this becomes more obvious. As you can see, we've got a strong downtrend in the RSI and the MACD is already trending to the downside. We've already had that bearish cross back around here. So zooming back out on the four hour chart, what does this actually mean for the Bitcoin price? Well, usually when the RSI is trending to the downside, that is actually showing weakness in the potential uptrend here. And also with the fact that we're fighting massive resistance, that golden pocket, the longer that we stay at these levels without breaking the golden pocket and the further these price oscillators start heading to the downside, the more our chances of a rejection actually increase. So I'm not saying that we're definitely going to see a major rejection from the golden pocket because of course, nothing's guaranteed in the market. All I'm saying is with these price oscillators heading to the downside, that simply increases our risk of potential downside price action. It just increases the probability of of us getting a rejection here. And as for entering any new position, I'll definitely like to wait and see what actually happens next in the immediate short term, because of course, there's still a chance that we can get a break above the golden pocket, which will be very bullish for the Bitcoin price. It's just that chance of breaking to the upside is slowly becoming less likely as these oscillators move further to the downside. So we're basically going to need to do it pretty quickly if we're going to see a break to the upside. But with that being said, even if we do see a rejection from this level just here, I am still leaning more bullish for Bitcoin on this four hour time frame because clearly we have broken above huge amounts of resistance. All of this resistance back here at around 44 to 45,000 US dollars, that was massive. That was holding down the Bitcoin price for quite a while. And I was letting you guys know throughout this time period just here that I was bearish back then when we were in the downtrend. But I let you guys know the moment we break this important resistance, I simply flip bullish. It's as easy as that. And you can clearly see the moment that we did end up breaking this resistance point, we shot to the upside as expected. So basically for as long as we're holding above these levels now, which is pretty much around 45,000 US dollars. That's where the 50 day EMA is coming in at for as long as the Bitcoin price holds above those levels. Then even if we go that low, we're still looking bullish. We only really start looking bearish again on the four hour chart. If we start breaking back below those important support levels and really the final level to hold is at around 44,000 US dollars. Quickly looking at the Bitcoin order books to see where some buy orders and sell orders are coming in at. The main things to take away right now is of course, two major buy walls to the 
downside. The first buy war comes in at around 46.2K, just above 46.2K. And the second buy war to the downside comes in at around 44.7K. So at those exact price levels just there, I would be expecting some support for Bitcoin, at least in the short term, because for the beginners out there, a buy wall is basically a bunch of people or maybe even just one whale wanting to buy a whole bunch of Bitcoin at that particular price, which is going to help support the Bitcoin price at those levels and perhaps push it back to the upside if we actually go down towards those levels. In the sell orders, we're not really seeing any major sell wall, but the sell orders do pick up a little bit at around 49,000 US dollars. So keep that in mind. We could find a decent bit of resistance at around 49K and that's probably a lot of people just front running that $50,000 psychological resistance level. Quickly looking at the Bitcoin funding rates, we're not really seeing anything too important because overall they're looking pretty neutral. There's some here and there that are more positive than normal. And then there's also some here and there that are more negative than normal. So just generally speaking, they're pretty neutral. And the same goes for the Bitcoin fear and greed index. We're only one away from an exact neutral reading. So the funding rates and the Bitcoin fear and greed index right now are actually looking pretty good because obviously when we're neutral, we've got room to both the downside and to the upside. But the main thing in regards to this fear and greed index that I'm going to be keeping an eye on, and I mentioned this in yesterday's Bitcoin video, but basically if we head into the greed area or even into the extreme greed too quickly, then at that case, we would be at more risk of more bearish price action. And we saw the exact same thing about a month ago leading into the beginning of September. We were seeing a lot of greed and extreme greed up towards around 53 3,000 US dollars right here. And I was letting you guys know that's a strong warning signal of more bearish price action to come. And so right now, obviously we're not seeing that. We've definitely got more room to the upside. But what I would like to see is on this uptrend, some small pullbacks along the way, because that's going to shake out a little bit of over leveraged long positions and also some weak hands along the way. And that will keep us away from that extreme greed longer, the more short-term corrections that we see along the uptrend. If we just go straight to the upside in a straight line, obviously that's quite unlikely, but let's just say if we just pump straight to the upside, we're going to go into extreme greed a lot faster. And then we're going to be at a much higher risk of a further pullback to the downside. And obviously we don't want that. So it's much healthier for Bitcoin if we do see some short term pullbacks along the way. And by the way, I actually mentioned in two videos ago now, just two days ago on the channel, that even if we do get a rejection from this golden pocket here and start coming back down for perhaps a retest towards 45,000 US dollars, then in that case, we could actually be forming a giant inverse head and shoulders pattern as you can see, we've already seen the left shoulder, we've already seen the head, and right now we're potentially just waiting on forming a right shoulder. So I want to make it clear that this pattern is definitely not confirmed. It's just something to look out for if we do end up seeing a bit of a rejection here, because if we do end up forming that right shoulder and actually breaking above the neckline, which by the way, the neckline is coming in at really around 49,000 US dollars. That's where this top just here was. And then the technical price target, if you're measuring from perhaps these candle bodies just here to the upside would be coming in at above 56 thousand US dollars. But when you're measuring the technical price target from the actual bottom of the candle wicks just here, then the technical price target in that case will be coming in at above 57,000 at around 57.3K. So you're looking at around a 15 to 17% gain in the Bitcoin price if we actually see the right shoulder play out and a break above that neckline just there. And if you're not following me over on my Twitter, what are you waiting for? Because I give you guys all of these extra updates on the crypto markets throughout the day in real time. So if you want to stay up to date at all times, in the markets completely for free. Make sure you're checking out my Twitter and the link to my official Twitter is in the description down below. It's at Crypto World Josh and it's the one with nearly 29,000 followers. Any other Twitter account that looks like it's my account, but it's not the one that's linked in the description. Those other accounts are just scammers trying to impersonate me to take your money. So please be aware of the scams at the moment. There's also scams in the YouTube comment section. Unfortunately, I honestly delete over 100 scam comments per day on my YouTube videos and they're still always slipping through. So you guys have to be aware of the scams as well. Just know that right now I do not have a Telegram. I do not have a WhatsApp. I don't have any private group or anything like that. I don't trade with your money. So if you get anything like that, it is a scam. And don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for anyone that is new to the channel. It only takes a couple seconds out of your day to click that subscribe button down below and it seriously helps out the channel so much and I really do appreciate all of your support. And before I end this video, let me know in the comments comment section down below what you thought of the audio of this video. I've been getting a couple comments here and there of a little bit of an echo in the audio. So I've just kind of rearranged the mic for now and I'm going to be looking at more solutions later on. And so I want to hear your feedback in the comment section down below. But anyway, that's really everything I have to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.